Okay, so one more question here related to roots of unity. Um, so suppose we ask ourselves, how many of the 14th roots of unity lie in the third quadrant? Well, okay, so again, whatever the angle inside for cosine and sine, whatever angle we get inside, uh, whatever quadrant that angle lies in, our root of unity, uh, that particular root of unity, will also lie in the same quadrant. So really we just have to think about this quantity for 2 pi times k over n. Okay, n in this case is going to be 14. Um, k will vary from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 13. We have to think which of those will put us in the third quadrant. So, um, so really we just have to think about, for again, this 2 pi times k over n. Again, n in this case, since we're doing the 14th roots, would be 14. So we've got 2 pi over um, 14 times k. Um, I'm going to rewrite that actually as 2 pi times uh, 14 over, or excuse me, k over 14. Uh, I just want to move things around here a little bit. And again, this is for k equals 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 13, we do uh, one fewer. I'm just thinking again, for what values of k will this angle uh, be in quadrant 3? So again, quadrant 3, uh, we were looking for angles between pi and also 3 pi over 2. So you can really just start brute force checking them here a little bit. Um, let's see, so notice if we let k equal exactly 7, if we let k equal exactly 7, we would get 2 pi times 7 over 14. Well, 7 over 14 is just 1 half. 1 half times 2 pi is just pi. So the seventh root of unity uh, would be lying over here on the negative x-axis, but it wouldn't quite be in quadrant 3 yet. So that one doesn't work. Well, let's see. Uh, k equals 8. I believe that one would certainly work because if we let k equals 8, we'll get, well, 2 pi times 8 over 14. And let's see, so 8 over 14, that's going to equal, if we reduce that, that'll give us 4 over 7. That's going to be 8 pi over 7. And 8 pi over 7 is going to be just a little bit bigger than pi, so that's certainly going to fall uh, in quadrant in quadrant 3. And now I'm just going to kind of keep this up. I'm just going to keep sort of brute force checking them here until uh, I think we, we get outside of our, until we get an angle larger than 3 pi over 2. So let's see here. We checked k equals 8. Let's do k equals 9. So if we do k equals 9, we'll get 2 pi times, well, 9 over 14. If we simplify that, again, 2 over 14, um, that's going to give us just 1 seventh. So we'll be left with 9 pi over 7. If you're not sure, um, you know, maybe one thing you could always do is turn, uh, if you, if you want to make sure that your angles are, are you know, within the correct bounds, uh, you know, even multiply out, you know, 3 pi over 2. So. I'm going to approximate pi by saying it's 3.14. So I'll multiply that by 3 and divide that by 2. That gives me roughly 4.71 radians. Well, have we gotten too big yet? I don't know. Let's check. So we'll do 9 times 3.14. We divide that by 7. Well, this is going to be 4.04 .04 radians, roughly. So yeah, uh, that, that angle would still be falling also in quadrant 3. We can check k equals 10. So for k equals 10, we'll get 2 pi. Again, well, 10 over 14 in this case. Again, uh, we would get 10 pi in the numerator. 2 over 14 would make 7 in the denominator. So let's see, if we take 10 and multiply that by 3.14, and then divide that by 7. I'm getting this to be 4.49 radians roughly. So hey, uh, 4.49 radians, that's still smaller than 4.71 radians. So that would still also be in quadrant 3. Um, I think we can check one more. It's not going to work. Uh, so if we do 2 pi, and now again our k value is just going to be 11 over 14. So that's going to give us 11 pi over 
7 in this case. So 11 times 3.14 divided by 7. Oh, hey, now I'm getting 4.93 uh, radians. So 4.93 radians, that's definitely beyond 4.71. So now I've crossed over into quadrant 4. So in this case, I would stop. I would say it looks like the ones that are... Um, that are going to be in quadrant 3 will be k equals 8, k equals 9, uh, k equals 10, we said also works. And um, so I think the ultimate question was how many of the 14 root, 14th roots uh, lie in the third quadrant? Well, to me, I would say three of them lie in the third quadrant.